Hi there, it's Yoshi. Um, today I'd like to see what's in this orchid and uh, repot. Uh, now, the main reason why is to uh, send a division to Hill, uh, Pola from uh, Hillbilly Orchids. And uh, <clears throat> we had a conversation about uh, uh, switching up, swapping uh, his, her uh, Moreliana Here's a uh, uh, Miltonia spectabilis. Uh, spectabilis apparently have this color. Now, according to Todd, this is semi-alba, but uh, basically uh, spectabilis is white, whereas Moeriana is uh, mainly purple or pink. So uh, there was a whole uh, article that Todd sent me, and uh, I sent that uh, article to uh, Paula too. But uh, um, yeah, so mine is spectabilis. Moreliana uh, apparently is often considered as a uh, spectabilis var variation uh, Moreliana, but I, I'm not sure. Uh, as far as I know, I go by different species. Anyways, um, this have a little bit of a, uh, not too strong, but tiny bit of a fragrance. Uh, prison, very prison. Um, and uh, yeah, um, it's almost done for some of the um, some of the uh, cut. So at the same time, I would like to congratulate uh, Paula. Uh, she just started um, channel again. Her name is uh, Hillbilly Orchid, and I'll put the link in the description and a uh, uh, picture of that uh, somewhere in the screen. So, um, being said that. Um, let's uh, get to this um i got this not a while ago these um blooms are not actually my uh, credit um wow i watered it yesterday did i water it today no but it's pretty dry um those being um uh, on cdm type they like to get moisture in their root system uh, this is way too dry than i thought it would be which is surprising lots of uh, grow stones in it um this actually might be also another uh, division by looking at it um and also if you see my kids screaming please forgive me um I don't have my own studio or anything cool like that. I always have to uh, fight over my YouTube filming time against them. Um, so I decided not to fight over it anymore. <laughs> uh, I think that's uh, less uh, stress in my opinion. Now, I'm not really sure how, if it's a good root. It looks good. Um, I'm not gonna really mess around with the uh, roots, but I would like to uh, take as many roots as I can. Now those I think is dead, and this is good roots. If you can see, this has some, um, I don't know if you can see this, but it has some substantial roots to it whereas this is like completely dry um been kind of noticed that these leaves are wonky this is from uh too dry or the roots not taking uh, water or no roots um, of course if there's no roots then they cannot take the water out of the soil not the soil but uh, uh when you water so you know and this one I don't like this color. Uh, it's it's not soft though. I don't think it would do anything, but we'll see. And there's a whole bunch of those. Ooh. Oh, you know what? Maybe this is not an orchid. Oh, look at that. This is some sort of a wild thing grows inside. It happens a lot when you, you know, purchase a uh, orchids and don't do anything about it um, 
So I'm assuming this is also not the orchid. Huh. Interesting. And uh, it looks like it is a division. If you can see this cut, this is white cut, and there's no uh, smaller pseudobulb. That means this is not seed grown. This is a crone, which is a, I am about to make. Uh, so that means um, what I am cutting is the exact copy. So therefore, the same bloom like this will uh, create, the, you know, it's a clone, basically. Um, I mean, look at it. This has been my favorite Miltonia ever, even more than Miltonia Sunset. Uh, now, I just got the, another Miltonia Sunset and... You know, I know some YouTubers wanting a Miltonia Sunset, so I'm gonna send that to her, uh, which is very exciting. Uh, she's also, uh, well, I'm gonna say it, uh, she's also a, a YouTuber from Washington State. We don't have many, and I'm trying to uh, get more, you know. Uh, YouTuber out of Washington, uh, but anyways, we don't. Washington State being not being able to keep orchids outside, not really popular with the orchids, you know, um, which is too bad, and therefore there's not much. Uh, cool orchid society I mean not the orchid society uh, the orchid nursery or anything like that um, basically you have to find the cool stuff on eBay or you know I guess Google or you know like orchid nursery from Florida my dream would be to uh, one day go to uh, Florida or something like that and like tour around so I see those roots, now I know this is not an orchid. It's pretty weird, but, wow, this is pretty deep. I can't, I can't go in any more than this. Try to figure out if it's, see this? There's another cut here. So I am assuming this is not one plant, which is what I was hoping, because then I don't have to really divide. It's already a two plants, you know what I mean? Um, I see a new growth here. This is a new growth. So this plant's future is pretty bright, right? But, hmm, I am almost 100% sure this is more than one plant. This is another, another cut here. And let me see. Yeah, this is one plant right here. Look at that. But this one doesn't have uh, any spike or whatsoever. That's not fun to give it, is it? Uh, and here's another one. Oh, just depleted. Wow, this is not. Oh, shoot, I just. Oh, hmm. Oopsie, I just, uh, not good. I think I'm gonna put it as it is and then uh, put a media here and then keep it as it is. Uh, this is, this was accident. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Uh, this one looks like, see, there's another plant right here. This is like so tangled up. I know I'm gonna mess up the uh, roots, but I think I'm gonna be okay. Um, here's, uh, there's a, so this one goes up here, and this one goes from here. So this is a different plant. I just can't, uh, I don't really want to mess with the plant uh, roots, but you know, at this point, what can I do? Most of the roots are dead anyways, I can tell. So yeah, this is one plant for sure. It has a few new growth here. I don't know if, 
I'm catching this. Uh, well, here's the thing now. I don't really know this plant enough, so I don't know if this is a uh, um, new growth or a spike. So I'm not really sure. Um, so this is for sure one plant. No spike though. That's not fun, is it? Uh, this one, on the other hand, has two spikes. Those are done. I'm going to cut them with uh, alcohol. Uh, not the alcohol, but you know, with the fertilized. Fertilized. What is wrong with me? Um, sterilized. Sterilized. What do you call this? Clipper. Uh, I'm going to cut this one too. Um, so, this is one plant, I think. Yes, it is. And, uh, yeah, here's uh, one new growth, two new growth, three new growth. Um, yeah, looking good. So, this one is about to go out so I'm going to just cut it anyways and uh, actually I want to cut this here and see if there's a worst case scenario and it's looking good I don't know if you can see this but it's looking good no purple trust me on that I just wanted to make sure especially if i'm giving it away you know so this is going to hurt and i am going to hmm, what should i do should i keep it as a one plant or should i have two plants i mean i could even i'm sure those are fine too i mean it was as it is anyways and there's a new growth so i'm sure uh no, this is rotted. This is rotted. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, this is rotted. So I'm gonna toss this. This one's fine now. Those are fine. So I'm going to keep that and keep that. Hmm. I'm sure. I think I'm going to mount it, which I mean, I was gonna mount it anyways. I have a piece here ready. Um, I didn't think I'm gonna divide it into so many pieces, that's the thing. And I was thinking it's little it's gonna be a little easier to uh, clean up. See this? This is all different plant. It's not even uh all gets roots and I have a feeling that um, new roots will just come out. This is all dead. I'm gonna just toss it. You know, sometimes you're gonna be just decisive and just what can you do, right? These roots are not working anyways. And I'm assuming that's why those are all like look at that. This is dehydration. So now I know why I haven't uh, touched anything. So, like, since I got it, you know? So that's that, I think. Um, the roots from here, here, would be able to, so it's like this, like that, then it will just do fine, is what I'm thinking. At the same time, yeah, I think I'm going to make another mount on this so one more mount or do i wanna mm. nope okay uh i think i'm gonna make one more mount i wasn't really ready for this but um this one i'm just simply going to put it in a pot or just just put it in a pot and uh like that just like that and then i pot it and ready to ship for so let me get ready for that.
I'll be right back. Well, before anything, I, uh, going, I'm going to uh, give some uh, hydrogen peroxide. Just in case there's like snails and stuff. Like that. Alright, and then I'm gonna get ready for uh, one more mount and uh, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so simply this one just uh, go like this. And she can do whatever she wants to when she gets it. Ta-da! And uh, what is this now? It's Friday today? And I am going to ship it on Monday anyways. So that is that. Tag. Okay, one done. Now, I don't need that anymore. And I'll clean this one and I'll be right back. All right, so the mounts, I have two here. Uh, I usually make a hole, two holes already. And uh, what happens is I have this wire. It doesn't really have to be this. It's just, you know, I like this shape and, uh, you know, coat it so it doesn't, um, it doesn't rust. That's all what it is. Um, and, uh, oops, hope I do this like that, right? And then I put tag here and then hang it like this and then this one goes around so enough that I'll, be, I'll do this later but i need to make tag so okay so here are the tabs um i don't need uh, this much longer one so what i do is This puncher is like only two dollars or so, nothing special. Um, but this is it's gonna go in the back. All right. Now um, let's start with this one. So as far as I know, it's going to go this way, I guess. So it's gonna hang like this. That seems like a natural way. What I wanna know is, should I go like this though? since the i want the roots to touch the media oh actually i think i should use this one first right so this way this will touch here and this one touch here is i think what i want to do and if it decides to hang down then it can just hang down by itself is what i'm thinking so this is what I'm gonna do. So this one, I'm going to put two of them together like this, right? See, I wanna go like this, but maybe, hmm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna think on that. Uh, you know, like orchids can position by itself unless it's a polynopsis. If it's a phalaenopsis, then you the direction is really important, so as dendrobiums. But I think these type will just position by itself, just like cattleyas is what I'm thinking. Uh, this is a sphagnum moss. I uh, just wetted it and uh, ready to use. Um, okay, I kind of had to take a break because I couldn't find a fishing line. I found it. This is super strong. Uh, thick one. I usually don't use this, but I couldn't find it, so uh, it will do. Anyways, uh, what is this? Okay, so I am going to now. So pretty in my way. Take this out somewhere. Go. Um, I'm going to. Uh, Stabilize this first. Then to do so, 
I make, I hope you can see this. I know it's kind of hard to see. Do this, uh, not here. Uh, Roger is the professional on this, but uh, like that. I make a loop like this. And I think I'm going to hook here and then go around. But I want to go through here though. See that? So this is the bottom of the bottom. Uh, is this rotted? I don't think so. Nope. But anyways, um, go around this like this. And then um, kind of pull the end that way it's stable i i have now two two hands now right and then after that i put the moss around it now i want to make sure i put a good amount of a moss underneath like this so it can grow the moss um, not too much here though because i assume it's not going to create any roots anymore from there so i don't have any point of doing so but there's going to create moth uh, roots here so like that right um so it's kind of loosened up but I'm gonna go like this from this side first um, and then from there I'm going around now how do I want to do this I want to go this way around so it could kind of push this um, piece onto the moss okay And then, so not too tight, and then go around one more time, um, and then here like this. Now, this pseudo bulb is gonna touch the bark or cork, I mean, like that. And then I'm gonna go around one more time. Tricky. Come back here like this, and then go around, cut it here a bit, bit, and uh, actually use this as a stand. And I'm gonna go through, I don't know if you can see this, but it's easy now because I can see the line very well. The line I usually use is a lot thinner than this, so it's kind of hard to see. But this is where I started, right? So this is where I went through back. So now I can kind of tighten this up again and not too tight though and like this and I go five times at least four and five cut it here now oops thought I caught here but I didn't hmm. failure oh well whatever uh, I'm gonna put more moss in here I guess there's a line here so I'm gonna put a little more moss so it would have a better chance to come down here I guess um, 
again this is not really how it grows from the way I saw but I again I want those uh, each suitable new one especially to touch that way it can grow in the roots can grow in so move this one away now like I showed you this is that and uh, it has two holes also I already uh, drilled it um, so it goes like this tag and then go like this keep it tight as possible what a what a oh violet how are you doing thirsty thirsty why I can't open my wallet now. okay so it's gonna be the same thing except this is gonna be two plants um what should i do it does work as a storage though so i don't really want to cut it if it's in a good shape which it is i think i'm gonna go like this and i'm going to cut it right here so it's easy Ooh, it jumped so it's easy to deal with so it's gonna be like this yeah the new growth this side so this will make roots and then go down that's what i'm gonna do um and those side can do whatever uh, all kids have its own wheel anyways i cannot really control it after all it will do whatever it will want to do um anyways it's gonna be the same thing so i think i am going to just give you or show you the final product it's getting too long anyways so i'll be right back bye all right so here is the final product this is for Pola, biggest piece. Um, you know, here's another thing too. If you want to give away orchid, make a division or whatever, and then give it to someone, please give it, give the best piece. Uh, it's just the way it is, I guess, uh, in my opinion. Um, you just do, unless uh, you have a big, big piece and then making a little division if that's the goal then that's the thing but this wasn't the goal here i wanted that big piece wanted to make sure how many pieces actually there are and then also if it is not then make a division and ended up three plants uh, and the biggest one the nicest one goes to her because it's a gift you want to give the best piece to whoever you're sending okay uh it's just my opinion uh so you know you don't have to listen to me but um now i have two more what do i do with two plants um i don't really need two only one is more than enough for me uh, how about this uh, i have an email account on my uh, description if you could um send me an email uh, orchids by the lake at gmail.com i believe it's in the description again um and if you are new and uh haven't subscribed yet uh, give me a message on email and uh make sure that you tell me you want one because you know there are so many people watching it and enjoying it but that doesn't necessarily mean that they want it right i want it to go to someone who really wants it so whoever email me first with the picture of your uh, youtube channel subscribed show me that you subscribed me first one i'll send it to you not even a shipping cost i'll just send it to you how about that right um because i'm trying to serious <laughs> you know my subscriber number is actually good number i actually don't really pay attention to how many i have and 
one day I just realized I have 777. How about that? It's like, you know, I can get a millionaire. I can be a millionaire if I go to a, you know, a casino or something, right? So I'm going to kind of celebrate that. And uh, I want more subscribers. Uh, it won't cost you anything. I usually don't say anything like this, but I kind of want to share my passion um, by selling and uh, by you guys watching and by you guys getting notif notification uh, each time I upload the video so uh, please send me an email and if you haven't su subscribed show me that you subscribed uh, you know like take a screenshot or whatever and then send it to my email first person gets this uh, what is this uh, September 2nd now so by the time I upload it and first person who emailed me I will send it to you okay so you guys have a good day and uh, be safe too bye